Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a problem on calculating a derivative where we need to use both the product rule and the chain rule. So let's take a look at our function here so that we can see in which order we might wanna apply them. So we have our function here, x times this exponential function. So we have a product, but notice the exponential, that's a composite. We have e, but 3x is plugged inside of that. So we're gonna be applying the product rule first, and then when we differentiate the second function, that's where we'll use the chain rule. Now you'll wanna be familiar with some shortcuts to make this go as quick as possible, and we have this shortcut here for the chain rule called the general exponential rule. If you're not familiar with that, check out the video I have linked down below in the description where we go through that. Now let's start maybe by trying divide and conquer. We'll identify f and g of x here for our function identified as a product. So our first function, f, we might write that as x, and then our second function, g of x, e to the three x. All right, the individual derivatives here are really simple. f prime, that just comes out to one. And now when you calculate the derivative of g, that's where you're gonna be using the chain rule. But we don't wanna go through divide and conquer, identifying the outer and inner function there. That's gonna be a lot of work. Instead, we're gonna make use of the general exponential rule. When we differentiate e to the three x, we just calculate the derivative of our inside here, the derivative of three x, which is three, and we bring that derivative down front. So g prime here comes out to three times e to the three x. And now we just need to combine our pieces back together according to this product. Remember, we're thinking of our function here as f of x times g of x. So here, we're gonna combine these pieces with the product rule. So let's go through that. That should be pretty straightforward here. The product rule, we have f prime times g. So one times e to the three x. And then we add to that f x times g prime. So x times three e to the three x. And that's it. We can simplify this considerably Noticing that we have exponential factors there in each term, so we can factor out e to the three x, and we'll be left with one, and then plus three x. And then we have our factor of e to the three x on the outside. And there we go. Now make sure, again here, you can see the order here in which we're applying the product and chain rules. Our function here was ultimately a product where one of the functions was a composite. So that's telling us that we're gonna be applying the product rule first, and then when we differentiate the individual pieces, that's where the chain rule comes in. Hope you enjoyed this simple problem. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.